This video is sponsored by Invite to Elements. Hey, what's up guys? This is Wasi from FlamelineVisualEffects.com and welcome back to my another brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a really cool signature animation inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's see what we will create today. Can I get 500 likes for this tutorial? If yes, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Okay, so first create a new composition. Let's call it signature animation. And I'm going with 1920 1080p frame rate 30 and duration 5 seconds long. Then click on OK. Now uh, create a text layer so i am using america signature font you can download this font from link in the description box below or you can use any other signature font uh, um, as you like so uh, right click then new then click on text and type your text i type in anything now make this uh, text little bit bigger Now make it center. Now uh, move the anchor point to the center of this text. For this, select the text layer, then hold Ctrl, then double click on Pan Behind tool. Now select this uh, rotation tool, then rotate the text a little bit, something like this. Now turn off visibility of this layer. Okay, now create a solid layer. So right click New, then click on Solid and rename it to Saber then click on OK then go to effect and preset window and search for Saber uh, Saber is a third party plugin from video copilot and you can download this plugin from link in the description box below and it's 100% free now select the Saber effect and apply onto this solid layer ok now glow intensity set it 21 and core size set it to then go to customize core then code type set it uh, text layer and text uh, layer set it or anything text layer okay now end size set it zero then go to beginning of this animation then set a keyframe on start offset and make it hundred percent then go to around uh, two second 20 frames then start offset value set it zero then go to around one second uh, 8 frames or 10 frames then set a keyframe on end offset and then press U on your keyboard and then go to end of this keyframe and end offset value set it 0 perfect now select all keyframes then press F9 to make them easy ease now select the server layer then press ctrl plus d and then change the layer mode to screen and then simply select the layer and drag it forward few frames maybe around 10 frames and then change the color to maybe red you can use any color you want now again select this layer then press ctrl plus d then drag it forward few frames something like that and then change the color to maybe blue yes blue looks good design better projects faster with Envato elements get unlimited downloads of beautiful and ready to use template for your digital projects create more with premium design assets video templates mockups fonts, presentations, photos, audio files, and more. All with commercial license for extra peace of mind. Inverter Elements will make any projects better while saving your time, efforts, and money. Get unlimited downloads with Inverter Elements and start creating today. Perfect. 
okay now select this uh, anything text layer then press ctrl plus d to duplicate this layer then put it all above the layers and then turn on visibility then go to effect and preset window and search for gradient ramp now select this effect and apply onto this text layer then change the points something like this and then uh, change the color looks good to me okay now go to you know, effect and preset window and search for linear wipe now select this effect and apply onto this uh, text layer then angle set it minus uh, maybe minus 100 then press u and then uh, delete these two keyframes now go to around uh, maybe uh, one second 20 frames then set a keyframe on transition completion and set it uh, maybe 80 then go to around 2 second 20 frames 20 uh, sorry go to around 3 second uh, maybe 3 second 25 frames and then uh, transition completion set it uh, 20 and increase the feather amount to 125 now select this last keyframe then press f9 to make it easy ease okay let's ramp view this looks nice okay now import our particles layer you can download this particle layer from link in the description box below Okay, now select this particle layer then drag it into this project window now select this particle layer then place it into this timeline then uh, make it smaller or press ctrl alt and f now change the layer mode to color dodge perfect Okay, let's uh, select this uh, layer then go to toolbar and select paint tool then create a max something like this then press um, F on your keyboard then max feather amount set it 350 just um, size and position perfect now go to around 2 second 20 frames then press um, T on your keyboard then set a keyframe on opacity then go to around um, uh, 3 second 15 frames then opacity amount set it 0 ok let's ramp view this looks good to me Okay, now uh, select all the layers then make it 3d by clicking here now create a uh, camera so right click new then click on camera then hit ok then go to around maybe uh, 2 frames 11 frames then press P on your keyboard then set a keyframe on position then go forward few frames and increase the Z amount
now select these two keyframe then press f9 to make them easy ease then open graph editor and then change the curves to something like this Perfect. Okay, now select all layers then right click then choose pre-compose then select mobile attributes and rename it to main then click on ok now go to beginning of this animation then press s on your keyboard then set a keyframe on scale then go to end of this animation and scale amount set it 110 our animation is complete press 0 to ramp you this Thank you very much for watching this tutorial i hope you like this and i will see you in the next video till then peace out